Boy, howdy. Shiny Mersteer here. I've been doing research on Udon and trying to figure out the best way to dish you information on it, trainings in relation to it, and otherwise good tips to get started. What we're going to do today is begin a little dinner party, feeding you bowls of Udon every month or so with the latest walkthroughs, examples, and essentially lob what I consider useful links at you until you're stuffed. I've decided that I'm not pro enough to do a zero to hero on this topic as of yet, but there are others that are a lot better than me. And over the course of the next several weeks, I'll be creating videos on where you should be looking for people sharing tips on Udon. So let's get started from zero real quick. If you consider yourself a zero, there's a lot, a lot, a lot of heavy stuff for you to learn before you're making the next Animal Crossing in VR chat, right? Feel good about making a cube rotate without an animator or, you know, a mirror turning on and off. Those are big wins. With dedication and understanding of how stuff works, you'll be able to make whatever you want to make. It'll just take time. And many of us have a lot of extra time right now to learn a new skill. I would consider Udon and programming in general a great thing to learn during this time for those who want to try. Now, I'm not going to comment on VRChat's official tutorials because that's one you know rather obvious way of learning. And if you experienced that and it worked for you, that's cool. But you're likely here for something new and different. So I'll put a link below to the Spinning Cube example series just in case. You know, if you haven't seen it yet, VRChat has also just released a new SDK today, like right like just a few minutes ago for Udon, including new prefabs and examples inside the VR chat examples folder of the SDK. So make sure you give that a look over as well. You, you got to go online and download it. It's in vrchat.com slash login, login and uh, click on the uh, download section and get the SDK. All right, so let's get into the juice of this. Von Schmidt, which I'll link up in the top right there, there and also in the description have been making some good uh, beginner level tutorials and it's a great starting point for people who know the very basics of world building like being able to put a mirror and a cubic game object into a scene for example he'll teach you so far on stuff like basic buttons contextual buttons which are buttons that can do different things depending on object states and player mod stuff like gravity jumping stuff like that all recreated from vrc sdk2 into udon Pretty cool stuff. He does this both using the power of noodles, aka the new the, the the nude graph system, aka the node graph system, as well as a product by Merlin San called Udon Sharp, which is a compiler that compiles C Sharp into Udon assembly language. Uh, as I talked about before in my Udon Zero to Hero video, you can create Udon worlds using the node graph system, as well as just plain old assembly code if you know it. Udon Sharp makes Udon programming a lot more streamlined for those who know how to code without the stress of having to know assembly and without having to deal with noodles all over the place, right? Keep in mind that Udon Sharp is updated practically every day during the infancy of this project, right? So be sure to set up GitHub to easily get clone the latest build to your Unity Assets folder. We also have a nice lad named Hugh Dawson, who has begun dabbling in Udon about three months ago during the alpha. Since then, he's been developing games like Codenames, a Jukebox, and what he's calling an event management system, mostly utilizing Udon Sharp. And I keep referring to Udon Sharp, but it's currently beyond the bounds of this video, but the link is in the description if you want to take a look. So if you aren't that interested in tutorials, but you're more looking for that sweet, sweet repository of already created code to pull from, have a listen. If you've programmed a world in SDK2, aka, you know, the SDK we've had since the dinosaurs, the main thing you're probably interested in is, you know, how do I recreate the triggers and stuff that I had in SDK2 into Udon? And the answer is that you rebuild them from scratch. Thankfully, JetDog 8808's VRC Triggers Compendium, linked in the description below, has a huge list of actions. He goes over the majority of things you could trigger in VRC SDK2 and recreate them in VRC SDK3, complete with the code you can use to copy and paste the node graphs straight into Udon. We also have Mimi's Basics, which, like JetDog, provide easily copy and pasteable examples of some things you may want to do, like change color of an object's materials, creating a test bench for Udon so you can see if the ideas work in Unity play before you jump into VR chat, or how to get and set variables, or create a rate limiter to stop people from spamming buttons, and you know, stuff like that. Most of these examples and tutorials were found on Twitter of all places with the hashtag made with Udon, and I have a bot feeding this exact feed into my Discord server, which I'm going to link here. We have a cozy little community, gotta say, sharing their avatars, worlds, Udon experiences, and would love for people who want to build to show off their stuff there too. So come on in, check us out. Maybe you'll have some fun. We'll see. If you know a tutorial that has helped you, and I haven't talked about it here, which I'm sure there's a bunch of them that I haven't found yet. So be sure to drop me a comment, what it is, where it is, so I can provide it in my next video. 
then subscribe so you can get all these right to your feed when I publish next time. Or if this helped you, you know, subscribe too. I could really use your support. That's going to be it for now. There's plenty for you to review already. This only took a few minutes. It's going to take you hours, maybe days to, to go through all the stuff I just told you about. So take a good look and get back to me on what helped, what didn't, and uh, what you feel like you're missing. All right, cool. This is Shane Emerst here. Good luck with Udon. And we'll be back soon with the next one. All right, that's it. Bye. No, my computer's over here.